This tutorial will show you how to make this baby blanket. This is a really sweet and simple two row pattern repeat of single crochet and double crochet three together clusters. It's really quick and easy and it's perfect for a last minute baby shower gift. I'll show you step by step how to make this and I'll also give you the adjustments so that you can use the same pattern repeat for all sorts of projects from washcloths to scarves to full size afghans. Make sure you check out the links in the description box. I'll put a link to the written pattern as well as my crochet tutorial playlist where you'll find all sorts of projects including a lot of projects for babies like bonnets and toys and nursing necklaces. If you make this pattern, I would love to see pictures. If you want to share with me, you can always post them on my Facebook page or you can add them to your Ravelry project page and I always see them there. If you enjoyed this pattern and video, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching. Now that we got that all out of the way, let's get started. To make this baby blanket, I'm going to use worsted weight acrylic yarn and a size I crochet hook. I'm going to start with a foundation chain, so I'm going to put a slip knot on my hook and just begin chaining. And I want my chain to be a multiple of 3 plus 5. So for this baby blanket, it's going to be 134. Um, that's 129 plus 5. And that should give me a 34 inch square baby blanket. If you're making another project like a scarf or a washcloth, you could change the number of your foundation chain. Um, just remember it has to be a multiple of 3 plus 5. Okay, so I have my whole foundation chain, 134 and I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to um, skip the first four chains from the hook. So one, two, three, four. So in this stitch right here, right there, I'm going to begin my first stitch. And the first stitch is actually going to be worked over the three, the next three chains and it's going to be double crochet three together and that's going to be the stitch that's used throughout this pattern. So to do the double crochet three together, you're going to begin by yarning over, insert your hook into the stitch under the two loops of the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two. And so far this is just like a regular double crochet, but we're going to stop here and we're going to move to the next chain. We're going to yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two. So now you have two incomplete double crochets on your hook plus your beginning loop. We're going to do it one more time into the next chain. So we're going to yarn over, insert the hook into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through two. Now you have three incomplete double crochets on your hook plus your beginning loop. So you should have four loops. And to complete this stitch, we're going to yarn over it and pull through all of the loops on the hook. Like that. And that is your double crochet three together. From here, we're going to chain two. And then we're going to repeat that. So over the next three chains, we're going to double crochet three together. So this is the start of your first double crochet. And then the start of your second double crochet. And then the start of your third double crochet. And then complete the stitch. And then chain two. And that's going to be your repeat. So double crochet three together, chain two. Then over the next three stitches, you're going to do the same thing. Double crochet three together, then chain two. And you're going to repeat this all the way to the very end of this um, beginning foundation chain. Okay, so now we're at the end of row one, and I have my last double crochet three together here, and then I chain two. I have one chain left, and I'm just going to put one double crochet in that last chain. Like that. And that ends row one. We're going to chain one and turn the work. And row two is going to be single crochets and we're going to work in the spaces, these chain two spaces, so not in the actual stitch but around the chain of the chain two space. And in the first chain two space we're going to put two single crochets. So one, 
two. And in the next chain two space and in each chain two space to the end, we're just going to put three single crochets in each space. So one, two, three. In the next space, one, two, three. And just repeat that all the way down the length of your um, pattern. And there at the end of row two, I have my um, single crochets in each of the chain two spaces, three single crochets. And I'm also going to put three single crochets in this last space. So this is the was the turning chain, so put three single crochets there as well. Okay. And that is row two complete. And you can see how working into the space really opens up those gaps and it really shows the pattern. So now we're going to start row three. And row three is pretty much the same as row one. You're gonna start by chaining four and then turn the work. We're gonna skip this space here, this stitch, and working into the next three stitches, we're gonna do the double crochet three together. So first part, second part, and third part. Then complete the stitch and just like before we're going to chain two and just repeat that all the way across. So over the next three stitches we're going to do the double crochet three together There we go. And then chain two and repeat. Now I'm at the end of row three and I have my last double crochet three together and then I chain two. And in the last single crochet of this row, I'm just going to put a double crochet. And now from here we're just going to repeat row two and row three over and over again to make this project as long as you want it. So we'll go back to row two and we'll chain one, turn the work, start with two single crochets in the first chain two space, and then three single crochets in each of the chain two spaces across, including the last turning chain. And I'm just going to repeat this row two and three um, and then I will be back and I will show you how to finish it off with a border around the edge. Okay, so I've been working on this blanket for several days. And you can see how it looks. still have my ends to weave in, but that's how it looks. And it ended up um, being about 30 inches instead of 34 inches. Uh, but I think 30 inches is probably more manageable size anyway. I ended up doing, I think, 73 rows to make this blanket a square. You could make it you know, longer and make it a rectangle, but I wanted to stop at a square. And from here, I'm just going to put a very simple border around the outside perimeter, and it's just gonna be a single crochet border. So um, you can see I've ended here on a row three. So I've come to the end of row three, and I'm just gonna turn my work, and I'm gonna work down the sides of the blanket. So I'm gonna begin with a chain one. Now working in these spaces, we're going to single crochet, two single crochets in the space around the double crochets. So one, two, and one stitch in the end of the single crochet row. So this is the end of row two. Just going to put one single crochet in the end of that row. Now we're at another space, so we'll put two single crochets. And at the end of this uh, row of single crochets, we'll put one single crochet. Two in the end of this row, and one in the end of this row. And we're going to continue that all the way down the side of the baby blanket. Okay, so we've worked down the first side, and we've come to the bottom. So this is actually your foundation row, uh, foundation chain, and this is row one. 
And we're just going to continue with the single crochet. Um, so I'm going to start by chaining one just to ease around the corner. And now I'm going to put one single crochet in each chain of the foundation chain all the way across. And when we originally worked into the foundation chain, you generally work under two loops. So you should have one loop remaining from each chain. And that's where we're going to put our single crochets. So just work single crochets in the remaining loop of the foundation chain all the way across. And sometimes this can be a little bit fiddly, but just take your time. Okay, so I've gone all the way across the bottom edge and turned the work, and now I'm working up the other side. And we're going to do it just like the first side that we did. So I'm going to start by chaining one to ease around the corner. And I'm going to put two single crochets around the post of the end of row three and one single crochet in the ends of row two into the side of the single crochet. So in the first gap, two single crochets. And then in the end of this row of single crochets of row two, one single crochet. And then two. And then one. So we've gone up the other side and now we're at the top again and from here we're just going to chain one to ease around the corner and then we're just going to put three single crochets oops, in the chain two space. And once we get to the end of this row, I'm finishing this border around the edge. Then we just need to weave in the loose ends and your baby blanket is complete. Now my baby blanket is finished and I love how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this pattern and tutorial. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching.